So, this is how you test uh, friction of a descending device. How much friction a descending device gives you relative to the rope and your weight. Um, the first test, and you can do this for a whole, the more the more tests you do, the better. You can lay it out on a graph and get an average and find what is your coefficient of friction, you might say, of a rope wrench at a given setting. This is set at, this is with the slick pin, the midline attachable, set at uh, 0.52 inches. Um, so the first test we have, I have no weight on this end of the line. It's a free hanging line. This is a mere, uh, a meat scale. So uh, if I pull down on this rope, on this rope wrench, where do I start sliding at? Looks like if I'm at 13, I'm stopped. 14, I start to go. So, the next test, you would take a, I mean, you could take a two and a half. Here, we'll do it with a five pound weight. Now, this is like your brake hand when you're repelling with the figure eight. This is five pounds on your brake hand. Um, where does the rope wrench begin to slide? How, how much good does five pounds on your brake hand do you? Starting to pull. So there I'm at about 35, 34. I start sliding when I get in between 35 and 40. Between 30 and 35. Let's try with a 25 pound weight. Now there's a lot of variables in this. Uh, every rope, how new the rope is how warm it is, how humid it is, how dry it is, you're going to have some differentiation um, in, in your results. Uh, just a little bit of weight difference makes quite a significant difference up here. Just a little bit of a bump in your rope or maybe a little bit of fuzz, you're going to get different results as well. So here's 25 pounds. You do it, you can get a general general sense of what, what your friction is generated. Here with a 25 pound weight, i pulling down, 75 I'm stopped, 80, oh there we are about 80 pounds I'm sliding down the rope. And you add 45 pounds, 35 pounds, you start to see the, um, the relationship. Um, typically, between a third and a quarter, a quarter and a third is uh, about the, the break off. Um, and that's that's one, one test for, for how you find out what the friction of the descending device is.